à tous de DDO, attention pour le décompte final. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, top Allumage Vulcain. Allumage 2 EAP, décollage. A tous de DDO, attention pour le décompte final. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, top. Allumage Vulcain. Allumage des EAP. Et décollage. La trajectoire est nominale. La propulsion est nominale. La propulsion est nominale. The clear skies, the sounds of cameras clicking. And we still have an incredible, incredible image. image. That's really a bright night. So, Vincent, can you tell Le us now? We're intrigued to know it's disappearing up into space, but what are the next important stages of its journey? Yes, for the, for the time being, the, the launcher is still in its... Uh, initial conditions, that is to say, in still in, uh, in one piece, I, I would say. But in one minute, uh, approximately, the, the two solid uh, boosters will separate uh, from uh, the main stage that will occur at uh, precisely at two minutes and 20 seconds. Then, uh, one minute later, the, the fairing will be jettisoned. No more nominal. atmosphere. So no need to maintain the fairing uh, on the launcher. At eight minutes and 36 seconds, the Vulcan engine will be switched off. And the main uh, cryogenic stage will be separated six seconds later. So the engine of the upper cryogenic stage will be then ignited and will take the reins during more than 16 minutes in order to reach the targeted orbit. La propulsion est nominale, le pilotage est calme. And we have the image of yeah. the booster. We still have it. It's incredible. That's incredible. Separation des EAP. So you have that confirmation. Yes, we, we have the confirmation, yes, as you can see, that the, the two boosters have been successfully separated. So, Vincent, what I would like to ask you is, without these two boosters, the launcher is obviously now lighter than it was at takeoff. Can you tell us more about its weight now? Why does it need these boosters anymore? Uh, yes, so the, the launcher is liberated from any dead weight in order to maximize the, the, capability, the capabilities uh, of the different stages. So that's why, as soon as the solid propellant uh, located inside the booster has been fully consumed, uh, the two boosters are separated. So after this separation, uh, the, the mass of the launcher is only 170 tons to be compared to uh, 770 tons at the lift of time. A tous de DDO, attention pour le décompte final. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, top.
à l'image Vulcain, à l'image des EAP décollage. La propulsion est nominale. And we are off. How wonderful to see the mighty Ariane roaring across that equatorial sky. Definitely launched a saver. We are now over one minute into the flight as she powers her way into space, heading east out over the Atlantic Ocean. Raphael, Mathieu, a reaction? It's hard to get tired of it, right? <laughs> I mean, it's amazing. Look at this. Yeah. Uh, I might be an engineer, but still, I, I have emotions when I see that. <laughs> no, that's, uh, that's amazing. It's like a ball of fire thrusting oh, yeah. itself. No, and, and we are extremely Look lucky because uh, we can clearly see uh, the, the rocket like blasting its, its way towards Raphael, space. Raphael, what do you have to tell us? Well, I mean, everything is going to happen quite quick, quickly now. Uh, you'll have uh, in... Uh, few seconds the booster separations that's the uh, first thing have, we have to look out for yeah they will have provided 90 percent of the overall thrust in order to literally escape the gravity pull of the earth and with a clear sky we could we'll see them well i hope so i think we will and then you will have the separation of the fairing when we have crossed the limits of the atmosphere it's protected the satellite from the friction of the air but also from the noise uh, generated at the booster's ignition À tous de DDO, attention pour le décompte final. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, top. Allumage P120, décollage. La propulsion est nominale, le pilotage est calme. Le pilotage est calme, la trajectoire est nominale. Acquisition de la télémesure par la station de Saint-Jean. How fantastic to see Vegas C roaring across that equatorial sky. Yet again, one can't take one's eyes off her. It's so impressive, like a boil of light rumbling across the jungle. This is, of course, the second launch of Vega C, Europe's new launcher, and it has just successfully completed liftoff with Pleiad Neo 5 and 6 on board. These two satellites, designed by Airbus Defence and Space, are the 119th and 120th to lift off on a Vega launcher. And we will, of course, be following the different stages of this flight very closely. David, I turn to you. What are the main stages of the flight we should be looking out for in the next few minutes? So in a little less than one minute, the P-130 first stage will have finished its job and it will separate from the launcher. And then the, the second, uh, this is the, the, the second flight of this P-120 stage uh, uh, following the, the maiden flight and it will also be used on, on Ariane 6 later on. Well, before the announcement of the separation of the P-120, just one word, sure, this, a reaction, Wendy. It's always amazing. 